Sound speed. Marker. Action. Check, check. Check one, two. Son of a Sound speed. Action. <sighs> Hello, everyone, and thank you for being here again for another True Audio Presents. I've got a great show for you today. We have an incredible guest. You've seen him before. Glenn Sanders, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Tom. It's great to see you today. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for being here. And I know that you have a new product that, you know, maybe some people have heard through the wind, but today we're going to officially announce it. Talk to me, sir, about the RX4. Well, sure. Um, thank you for having me here today, Thomas. The RX4, I think, is a very exciting new product from us. What it does is it takes the MRX receivers, the 414, the 214, and allows you to use it as a standalone receiver. So you're able to take the receiver that would normally go inside the Zaxcom Nova recorder or go inside the RX-12 and also the upcoming RX-8, and you're able to utilize it uh, as a standalone receiver. So it'll receive four channels of wireless you know, as a complete standalone device. So that's the unit right there that you're showing. And the receiver would just basically plug into the adapter. And the adapter has its display. It has buttons. It has the antennas. Basically, everything needed for the MRX 414 or 214 to be a standalone device. The connectors on it uh, exit actually near the top of the, uh, the unit so that when you put it in a sound bag, everything is accessible at the top of the bag. You don't have connectors basically sitting on the bottom of the unit. The view you were just looking at is basically where the receiver plugs in and you could see the, uh, the power connector there in this view and one of the TA5s on one side and then there it is on the other side as well. So you're able to output four channels of balanced analog audio or two AES pairs that would have the balanced audio as well. One of the things that I like about this design, Glenn, that's you know a little bit different than you know designs that we've seen in the past is the fact that all of these ports are you know recessed. They're not on the bottom of the bag where they're getting jammed into your ENG bag or you know on the back of your cart where you're folding all the cables and connectors. It just allows it to kind of flow a little bit more evenly in your bag. That's very neat. Well, exactly. That was a big deal for me in the mechanical design because, you know, I mean, it's really tough when you, you know, you're trying to plug in something like, you know, this receiver into the top part and you really want it to be all, you know, everything coming from that. Because if we didn't, you'd have a box that would be a big box that th this would slide into. And then you'd have connections coming off the bottom, making it even taller. So by doing this, we're able to actually keep the size very compact and put the connectors, I think, where people would want the connectors to be. So I'm very, uh, very happy with that. And if I basically unpower this unit, and I'll show you that it just quite easily disconnects from the receiver. It just simply plugs in. There's actually three screws that are uh, that go into the receiver to keep this together if you don't want to have that instant... Uh, removability and uh, it's very small it's very lightweight it draws virtually no power and in fact the power consumption on the receiver to receive four channels of wireless is basically four watts or about 300 milliamps so uh, a very low power draw for a bag and of course size wise you've got something that you know saves uh, bag space versus you know, the typical kind of uh, dual receiver available from Zaxcom and, and other manufacturers. So it's, um, 
again, this whole thing of keeping the sound bag super lightweight, super low power, and, uh, you know, just making it easier for people to transport these things. You know, that is one of the things that I do want to touch on, too, is the versatility of Zaxcom and, you know, the modularity. Because you have all of these 414 modules, modules that integrate with all of the different things that you have. Like, for example, the Nova has the ability to have two slots that allows you to have up to eight transmitters in the Zaxcom ecosystem, you know, connect with well, that was a ZFR, so not that one, but uh, all of these different transmitters, you know, you can connect to it. So, you know, if you're if you're rolling around on a reality show with eight talent, boom, this is all you need. What What is the weight of this with two of the MRX fours? Uh, 414s inside of it. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. Um, the Nova weight with receivers is, you know, about three and a half pounds. Wow. So you can put together a full sound bag with the Nova, a battery, uh, an IFB transmitter, you know, the bag, certainly the bag itself, and it's going to come in under six pounds, somewhere about five and a half pounds. Um, you know, certainly for those people who have carried bags for years, you know, they know that those bags can be, you know, averaging about 20 pounds and easily up to 30 pounds. Yeah, easily. Yeah, um, I've, I've yeah. had some and, heavy bags you know, before. Sound mixers have picked up the Nova with the MRX 414 because, you know, as they get older and, you know, you carry around a 20, 30 pound sound bag for so many years, um, you know, it takes its toll. And, you know, I, I think there's, you know, it's really a very compelling reason to go Zaxcom. Now, of course, you know, there's a lot more than the physical attributes of size, weight, and, you know, the power consumption. You know, those are very, very important. But I think one of the most compelling reasons to own our system, to own these products in general, is the fact that you've got one receiver or one wireless system that is the same wireless system, whether you're in a studio, whether you're on a sound cart or whether you're going to operate out of a bag, you don't need to have, you know, two brands. You can have a Zaxcom system do everything and you can have these modules, you know, easily go from one application to another. Exactly. So the tremendous savings in, you know, financial savings in putting a system together. I think we have, you know, really the most flexible system out there. And when you look at something like the recording transmitters, the recording transmitters give you something that no other system has. It's truly a way to absolutely guarantee that if you use the recording, you're going to have the audio at the end of the day. You're not dealing with other types of systems that try to increase transmission reliability. Um, you know, when you're out there, you never know when you're going to have interference. You're never going to going to know when you have reflections that can interfere with the signal with the zaxcom system and the recording transmitters uh there is no question you've got the audio you don't have to worry about the fact that you know something could interfere with you on an rf level that would eliminate the possibility of you getting a clear signal from the talent to whether it's the bag or the cart or a studio situation so i think that's a super unique thing that we have. That is and, definitely uh, one of the greatest things is is your modularity, if that's even a word, because of, like you said, being able to bounce from the Nova to being able to take those modules and throw them in the RX-12 or its brother, the RX-12R, or then even say, no, I need a portable system, so let's go grab the RX-4 and throw that somewhere else, you know, in the ecosystem of where you're working. It's just... You, you know, you, you have all of these things that play so nicely together and keep everything integrated, light, and just working. It's like a proprietary system that just works so well together. Well, thank you, Thomas. Yes, we're, we're very proud of how everything does function together. And what I do want to do, because you did bring that up, is talk for just one second about a product that we introduced recently uh, that works with all of this, which is the uh, URX50. And the reason I mention it is that as a system, this is pretty much the only digital IFB that can receive the transmitters. 
So you've got something that you can give away to the, the crew and they can tune in the transmitters directly, which frees up the sound mixer from bringing up faders for people to QC, uh, you know, how things are put on people and how they're sounding before they actually go into a scene. It also has a built-in speaker, which has a lot of utility in that you can monitor without headphones, which is nice. Also, it drops into a drop-in charger, which I happen to have uh, here as well. Well, you have it as well. So uh, it drops in the charger, and that actually is a big benefit because anyone can just drop it in and charge it up. So you, you limit the uh, amount of touching that has to go on when it comes to touching people. Um, yeah, and of course, the Zaxnet part of this thing, which allows you to remote control of the transmitters from the recorders. And we have a new, there you go, we have the GUI bridge, which allows you to use your, you know, any phone, any iPad, anything with a web browser. And this will now control the URX receivers as well as control or remote control our transmitters. So if you don't have a Zaxcom recorder with the GUI, and the GUI bridge, you're able to control the gain and frequencies of, uh, you know, any number of transmitters in a system. So we just wanted to make the system a little bit more open to those people that were not using it with our recorders. And you definitely did that. The, the URX50 is an incredible, you know, expansion of what we can do. I mean, obviously, as sound mixers, we need to be able to, you know, hear everything and be able to route certain things to our ears. Now we have the capability of doing that everywhere on set, wherever we need to. So it's sky's the limit with everything. Well, exactly right. And I think the big one of the big things with the URX50, actually there's two that I can think of, one is the fact that it has the find me feature so that if someone leaves one on set, you can actually remote activate that so it'll make a sound out of the speaker and you can you can find it. And also the fact that because it is remote controllable, you have the ability to limit access uh, pack by pack as far as what frequencies might be accessible to that pack. So if you don't want anyone to be able to dial in directly to any actor or talent, you can do that remotely, which is great. And if you changed a frequency, uh, maybe you change the main frequency off the cart, you can tell all the packs to go to the new frequency. And, you know, you could update 50 packs in a second. So, you know, that is huge compared to the, tra excuse me, the traditional type of IFB that's been out there. So really, you know, the, the system as a whole is, is just continuing to evolve and, just getting back to the RX-4 for a moment, what I want to mention is that the RX-4 uh, has tremendous range. I mean, what we've been able to do with this is we've been able to get the noise floor down to minus 110 dB, which is huge. I mean, it's very, very low. And to decode the signal, you only need about 6 to 7 dB of signal to noise, and you're fully decoding the signal as if you know, you're standing right next to it, even though it might be very far away. Wow. Uh, we've gotten whips to whips range with this uh, easily up to a thousand feet. Now, of course, that depends upon conditions. You know, when I say conditions, RF noise floor, uh, obstacles, that kind of thing. But the, uh, the RF uh, section in the uh, RX-4 is extraordinary. It's got a tunable filter, and that filter has a 44 dB bandwidth and tunes with the receiver. So it's gonna do a great job of keeping out walkie-talkies, cell phones, uh, all of those things, so that you know you, uh, you don't lose audio when someone standing five, 10 feet away from you gets on their UHF walkie and starts to talk to someone, which is a big deal. And, and frankly, you know, a big problem on set, especially now that we have you know, walkies at 470 and we've got cell phones in the 600 so it's all closing in on us but the filter in here will keep all of that out very very well uh, making it a very reliable uh, four channel receiver for sound bag camera or any portable application incredible you know what glenn i'm going to throw you on the hot seat you got to talk about one more product that you just released a few weeks ago the Zaxcom Bluefin 2. Tell me a little bit about the two different versions. And, you know, because I assume that you could hook this up to the RX-4 as well as the RX-12 and 12R. What can you tell me about it? 
Well, sure, Thomas. Um, you can hook it up to any one of our uh, any one of our products. The reason there are two reasons we built this antenna. It's built a to be a little bit physically smaller than our other antennas because people wanted that, and also it's built to be a transmitter antenna as well as a receiver antenna. Now, while antennas are usually good for both. Um, amplified antennas cannot be used for transmitter antennas. They're just receiver antennas. And I will tell you that, you know, I really feel amplified antennas are kind of pretty close to snake oil. Um, it's better to have a passive antenna if you can. And the only reason you would do an amplified antenna is if you have like 200 feet of coax and you needed to boost the signal to get it down to coax. But what we like to do is to make sure that a passive antenna is used because the best front end is in our receivers, not on any active antenna. So with this, uh, the antenna has an extremely low SWR. That stands for standing wave ratio, which means that when you send power to the antenna, virtually 100% of that power is broadcast. Very little is reflected back to the transmitter. Um, and a good log periodic, a good antenna will do that. And this one has an exceptional SWR from 470 megahertz all the way up to about 620 to 630 megahertz. So, you know, excellent for transmitting. And uh, it's a little uh, less directional than our older antenna because it is for use with our IFB system. So if you were to put, you know, let's say 125 milliwatt into, uh, transmission into this, I mean, you would easily get uh, 500 to 1,000 feet with just that little amount of power. And, you know, basically you point it toward the production, toward the action, and uh, you're going to get about 8 dB of forward gain on this. So um, it really gives you great range. And, yes, you would use it with the camera link. You'd hook the UHF connection right to the antenna, and it's an excellent transmission for our uh, – are URX receivers. And just so people know, not the IFB 200, that's 2.4 gigahertz. That's a different protocol. This is UHF, right? Right. This is a typical UHF antenna. And of course, you see it has a, uh, a massive Zaxcom D, uh, Z built into it, which uh, is really there for artistic uh, consideration. <laughs> that's but where all the power comes from. Mm -hmm. That's where all the power is. What are you talking about? Come on now. Well, yeah, you know, I, we can't make anything that's just, you know, like everyone else. It's got to be, it's got to be very unique to us. And I, I think you have to show a little bit of uh, imagination when you do something. So, you know, we came up with the antenna over the summer. It probably took me three or four iterations to get it just right. And, you know, it's been delivering now for about a month or two. And uh, the feedback has been very, very good. Very good. Excellent. Well, Glenn, thank you again for stopping by today and showing us the RX4, which I believe is available now. Is that correct? Yes. When people watch this video, it, it will absolutely be available. Awesome. So if you guys are interested, if you guys are Nova users or, you know, Zaxcom, you know, if you're in the ecosystem or maybe if you're not and you just need one of the best receivers on the market, pick up an RX4 and a couple of these 414s, expand your entire ecosystem. If you've got Novas and RX12s, you're definitely going to want to pick up these because it just expands your universe. It makes it so much easier for you to do things. It's, it's kind of like peace of mind when you're on set and they say, hey, can you go do this? Uh, we forgot to tell you. Can you do this? You can go, uh, yeah, yeah, actually I can. I can just pull out my RX4 and do what I need to do. All of these RX4s are available at True Audio at all five of our locations. And if you guys need to, we have a True Audio Synchrony credit card offer, which can help you. Just contact us on any of our social channels for more information. Glenn, what would you like to end with? Well, I'd just like to say that the... Uh... MRX and the uh, RX4 is actually a really great way to get into our system for anyone just starting out that just says, you know what, I want to dip my toe in, I want to see how this works, what it sounds like. The beautiful part is you can get this, and then if you decide to go with a bigger system, this becomes part of that bigger system. So you're not basically selling it off and starting again with something else. And I think that's a, a big thing. And the only other... Uh, 
thing I'd like to end with is to thank you for your time and the passion that you put into this. I think it's, um, you know, I think it's great to be able to come here and explain what we do and, uh, you know, have you um, communicate that to the world. Glenn, we're always here for you at True. Thank you so much. We appreciate you and keep building some good stuff. We're ready for the next one. Oh, we're not done by a long shot. Thank you, Thomas. Looking forward to it. Everyone, take care. If you have any questions, please let us know in any of our social channels. Again, we have five different locations. Here's the phone numbers if you would like to pick up your own RX4. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care. Bye.